silver. Gotcha. Seems like an emergency. Right now, a sight to behold. Emerge, right now, emerge. Right now, right here, emerge. I see everything. Quietly now. Taking a turn for the better. Mind the side effect. Okay guys, so currently, currently in the banner, we have the Miko, it's 9 days left and we have the Yoi Mia and the Miko. So in this video, we are going to talk about the Miko. I just love Ye Miko guys. Most like for the record, I'm saying I just love Ye Miko. There's a many reasons that I love Ye Miko, first is the voice lines. Really the voice of the reading. Miko is so sensual. Okay control so good like it's so calm it's so nice it's so yes so it, it's so good is it the voice is just so good the next reason is the character design you see this character is just looks so so good from the idle animation to the character design from bot top to bottom is just it's just perfect from the color combination for to the dress to the whole character design it's just good what else? I just love the gameplay. The gameplay is so so Traveling good. What do you have to do? Just you have to deploy the right fox here. here. Three foxes that are linked together. They attack literally anything. They attack uh, literally not only enemies but literally anything. Even uh, even the puzzles. You can use these fox in the puzzles also. That's also very good. And then Miko deploys the ult that hits three times, uh, depends on the uh, amount of the foxes you have on the field. All electro damage from the normal attacks to right elemental here, skill right to sure. burst. All damage you can use Miko as a DPS character, you can use Miko as a sub DPS character and, and you can use Miko as a pure pure support character, a battery or a synergy for your other uh, electro character. You can use uh, uh, Miko as a sub DPS character. What in sub DPS Miko? What Miko will do? Right Just here. deploy the fox right and now. switch to your another character. This is your support and sub DPS Miko. And if you want to go for the DPS one, just deploy the foxes, use the normal attack, and deploy the burst. All the combinations. The building, building, uh, building the Miko is also very, very simple, guys. Yeah, you don't need any five star, very good five star art, uh, you know, weapon, or you don't need any fancy artifacts here or a fancy artifact set piece here. No, yes, there's a better artifact set piece, four piece sets, yes, but you can you can give any two piece, two piece artifacts also, and your Miko will perform way, way better than any other character compared if you give those character a two piece, two piece artifacts starting with the uh, you know artifacts what artifacts that you can give to miko there is a two piece wonder that you can give to miko you can give two piece thundering fury also which gives electro damage bonus to 15 percent you can also give two piece gladiator and two piece shimanav also many will do uh, many will do that combination is a two piece, two piece combination very good combination two piece gladiator two piece shimanav but i personally like the two piece elemental mastery and two piece electro damage bonus after the hyper bloom and hold that aggravate reaction with the dendro is uh, is came and i just love the two piece elemental damage bonus that's uh, electro damage bonus and two piece elemental mastery uh, increased by 80 but if you don't want to use your Miko in the Dendro team and you, you, if you don't want to use a Dendro reaction in general, so you, still you can build Miko. Still Miko is very, very good. Then you'll you'll uh, uh, just avoid this two piece elemental master because without a Dendro element, Electro uh, not having well, Electro doesn't have a very good reaction with other elements. So in that case, you can go for the two piece Shiminawa or two piece Gladiator and with the two piece Thundering Fury. 
so good. You can also go with the four piece rendering fury, but again, the four piece rendering fury comes with the elemental reaction that, and in that case, uh, dendro is gonna be the important thing. So, in my opinion, you can go for the two piece either the two piece shimanawa or two piece gladiator or the two piece attack percentage any attack percentage and with the two piece thundering fury it's the best uh, in flower we are using the hp as the main strat in uh, feather we are using attack here sans we are using attack many will say and uh, say well like you just go for the elemental mastery here if you're using miko in the dendro team but i don't recommend using elemental mastery here if you're using uh Miko with uh, Nahida, you're already boosting and getting the very high amount of elemental mastery from Nahida. And also, if you're going with the 2P80, you'll have around like 120 to 200 elemental mastery without a sand elemental mastery here. And then 200 around elemental mastery Nahida will give you. So it's around around 400 elemental mastery. And I guess 400 elemental mastery on Miko is going to be very, very good. And also guys, one more thing, the elemental mastery will also buff the working of the damage of the elemental skill of uh, Miko. Uh, I just quickly show you where is one of the passive is here, which yeah, read this passive. Every point of elemental mastery Ye Miko possess will increase the Sesho Sakura damage by 0.15%. That's the elemental skill of Yemiko. So if you're giving sands to Yemiko, Yemiko will go definitely gonna perform better but if you compare to attack i don't know how much better but yes it's just work yes so in sense either you're giving the elemental mastery as a main strike or you're giving the attack percentage as a main strike if you do if you're not having the elemental mastery you high on miko uh i don't recommend you to giving attack percentage here but if you're having a decent amount of elemental mastery on miko without a elemental mastery sense so just stay with the uh, attack percentage and this guys in goblet there's no other option but the electro damage bonus that's it in the uh, circlet you're only giving either the critted or the crit damage according to your ratios and artifacts so just keep in mind in the substrate you have to find the four uh, main 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 four to five main substrate first is, first is gonna be the crit rate and a crit damage then third is gonna be the elemental mastery fourth is gonna be the energy recharge so these four uh substrate is going to be very important uh like this artifact this artifact is just perfect having crit rate crit damage elemental mastery this having energy recharge crit rate my this artifact having energy recharge crit rate crit damage this artifact having crit rate crit damage and attack percent also so keep that in mind to having four sub uh, substrate in your artifacts now guys the weapon weapon is gone, not gonna be very hard for miko either you are going giving the five star weapon they are gonna be the uh, kagura the main signature weapon of miko if you're not having the kagura next best five star weapon is gonna be the lost prayer to the sacred wind it's just amazing and it just works perfectly with the miko especially the dps miko deep on the dps miko this uh, weapon works seamlessly the next is the four shard weapon you already know you all know is the with set Visit also works very good the passive of this visit is just just perfect for miko any of these three passive is just perfect the attack percentage the elemental damage and the elemental mastery by 480 it's just insane and it also it gives crit damage as a substrat so these are the weapon that you can use on miko guys for the constellation you can go for the c2 c2 is a very good constellation for miko you can also go for the c3 constellation c3 constellation is very good but yes c6 constellation definitely worth so if you want to uh, want to go for the c6 constellation just go for it it's just work worth so much for the for the for the for the uh comic talents I recommend you to go for the triple crown. Triple crown is the best, but in first just max out the elemental skill. In Miko's case, elemental skill is going to be the most important uh, combat ability of Miko. First max out the elemental skill, then max out the elemental burst. Then if you want, you can max out the normal attacks also, but I just like 
leave it on the level six it's just your maximum damage you're gonna deal is with the elemental skill then the elemental burst or same you're not gonna deal a massive amount of damage with the normal attacks uh, as compared to the elemental skill and an elemental burst that's why my element my normal attacks are on six level guys she's the I best character the you can mistakes. use this character in many teams like if you have a child you can use miko with the child and it just works so good you can also create a proper hyper bloom or aggravate or quick bloom team the same team i'm using you can use this team this i just love this team or you can replace some characters here like you can replace yelen with the shinkyu here Chivalry you can replace die. nahida with the uh, traveler here yeah, and you can replace Bezu with the uh, Yao Yao here, or you can you can just replace Bezu with the Yelen here. So you can, if you want to use, you can you, you can use double Hydro here. But I like the double using the double Dendro here. I'll if you don't want to use a Dendro team, you can also go with the another other teams. Uh, that go will gonna be the Electro Charge team. If you're not using Miko in the proper uh, dendro team so the next best team uh, would be the electro charge team so uh, you can use Vico with the kokumi yelen uh, and child these are the characters that you can use yemiko with it's just super or you can use miko as a synergy for your main dps for your main electro dps character yes guys that's it for the video i just love miko miko is just way way cooler uh, you don't see miko dealing very high amount of damage because miko deals in a uh, like various amount of damage dealing uh, damage constantly const uh, constantly with the like uh, with the elemental skill then dealing three damages with in the elemental burst so in total uh, miko no deals very high amount of damage but reading. you will not see the very big numbers when you hit one time or two time with miko but that's it for the video guys if you like the video you can hit the like button and you can also subscribe to my channel guys i just love miko and i hope you all or do and yes if you are planning to wish on miko yes go for it be sure miko is totally worth it we'll meet in the next video guys till then bye bye take care